Hi there, this is Ranjit from Tech2Bus.com and today I have the quick unboxing and review of this CPU cooler. Uh, this CPU cooler is from Cooler Master and the model name is Hyper212 Plus. Uh, this CPU cooler supports all kinds of processors from the i7, i5 to all the AMD uh, processors. You have a comprehensive list of all the processors that are supported. It doesn't specify the socket one. 155 that is uh, used by the latest handy bitch processor but it works and i'm going to install this uh, cooler on my i7 uh, computer because uh, with the stock intel cooler uh, at load i was touching about 72 degrees centigrade and that's very bad for your processor anything uh, up, uh, beyond 70 degrees is bad for your processor uh, this uh, cooler has got rave reviews so we'll see if by adding this cooler we can lower our temperature cpu temperatures so this is the CPU cooler and to be frank, this is huge, this is really big and we have these four copper pipes that make direct contact to the CPU. We are attaching the CPU cooler to our motherboard. We have to take out the motherboard to attach the cooler. This is the original CPU cooler that came with my i7. So this is how it looks after installing the Hyper 212. <coughs> One fan was provided by Cooler Master and it, it's attached over here. You can also attach one more fan if you like over here. And to be frank, as this cooler is really big, uh, if you're planning to purchase the same, I suggest that you look at the dimensions of your cabinet before purchasing one. Cooler Master also provides us with the thermal paste and I applied that on my i7 chip. Now we'll see if this Hyper 212 helps us in lowering our temperatures. These are my CPU temperature readings in centigrade. And currently there is hardly any load on the CPU, just 2%. And as you can see uh, in idle, idle state, it is about 41 to 42 degrees centigrade. Earlier with the stock Intel cooler, I was getting an idle temperature of about 50 degrees centigrade. So on an average, we see a decrease of about eight or nine degrees with this Cooler Master 212. Now I'm going to stress the CPU by using a benchmarking software. I'm going to use Cinebench. And what the Cinebench will help us to do is that stress all these eight cores to eight, uh, 200%. Um, on the Intel stock uh, cooler, when the CPU was being st stressed, the temperature used to rise to about 72 to 73 degrees centigrade. And that's not good for your processor. So now I'm going to run the benchmark and we'll see uh, the pr processor usage and the temperature. As you can see, the temperature is rising slowly and now the CPU is being stressed 100%. But still you can see that the temperature is just about 53 degrees centigrade. I've seen it to go up to about 56 uh, degrees centigrade. Uh, that was the max I have noticed. So clearly this Hyper 212 plus cooler makes a considerable difference and if uh, you are getting high temperatures with the, your stock Intel cooler, I highly suggest this uh, CPU cooler. Uh, for me, this product is a great thumbs up. If you find this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you click on the like button given below. You can also subscribe to my channel to be notified about my future videos. That's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2buzz.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.